The Galway Hospice Foundation was set up in 1988 to cater for a growing need in the city and county and to offer care, comfort and support to those affected by life-limiting illnesses. Since that time, Galway Hospice has cared for thousands of people in need of palliative care and for their friends and families who are also affected when faced with the inevitable loss of a loved one. I suppose the bottom line is nobody knows when they may need to call in the hospice. There's a a tremendous sense uh, of comfort knowing that the hospice is there. The only criteria to receive hospice care is need. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are from, colour, creed, it doesn't enter into it. If you are referred to the Galway Hospice, you will receive quality hospice care. In recent years, the growth in population and the change in demographics have placed an ever-increasing demand on the services provided by Galway Hospice. With the wonderful support of the people of Galway, the team at Galway Hospice have done everything possible to meet this demand. But additional facilities and resources must now be put in place so that these services will remain available to the people of Galway and be there for them in their time of greatest need. It's essential that we continue to do what we're doing. We're providing a much needed service to a lot of people across the county and on the Iron Islands and in Ishboffin. To meet the growing demand for services, Galway Hospice is now planning to provide six additional inpatient beds with enhanced care facilities on the hospice site at Renmore, as well as providing increased home care, day care and outpatient services. Longer term, it will be necessary to relocate all services to a larger site. These planned developments will result in much greater choice for the patients and families who need hospice services and will go a long way to ensuring that the right care is available in the right place at the right time for as long as it is needed. We have patients access in the daycare unit which runs three days a week from all parts of Galway city and county. Uh, we have 56 patients on our books at the moment, uh, really busy, up to 14 patients per day. Myself and other staff nurse, two auxiliaries and uh, the multidisciplinary team of doctors, therapists, aromatherapists, art therapists, chiropodists, physiotherapists. We have a team of volunteers who come in and do hairdressing. They do uh, personal cares with the patients. Okay, there you go. And Christopher, there you go. All right. So usually they attend one day a week. From a social point of view as well, they, they get to talk to the other patients and the staff and they build up relationships with them and they get uh, advice and support from the different members of the team. It's great to have you back. <laughs> Respite is one of the main things that we offer patients for their families and for themselves. It's a day off their disease, so they come in and they avail of our service. They may have some aromatherapy. Also as a rehabilitative service, uh, they come in and they have physiotherapy assessments. If they've just been discharged from hospital, if they're trying to you know, rehabilitate themselves and live back at home independently again, we can give them advice on OT and physio and um, just extra advice and support that they may need on a weekly basis. Oh, that would be nice. Good. The staff at Galway Hospice work closely with hospital consultants, GPs and community services in providing care for patients and their families. In most cases, patients prefer to stay at home in a familiar, loving environment. To make this possible, Galway Hospice offers a home care service where specialist nurses, doctors and social workers provide palliative care to patients in their own home. Come on. Good. How are you? Oh, yes. When respite or more intensive care is needed, Galway Hospice has a 12-bed specialist inpatient unit where a multidisciplinary team provide the necessary care and comfort. We've 12 beds here. We've four single rooms and we have two bays. And all of the, um, the rooms are very private, and all of the bays are private. Um, the rooms all have ensuite bathrooms, they all have their own little fridge, they all have their own access onto the patio, uh, TVs. So it's really very comfortable and it is a home away from home, and we have space for family. Family are always very welcome here, and we don't have strict visiting times. We would encourage people to be with their loved ones. Every member of staff is involved in some way in the care we provide to our patients and their families.
The multidisciplinary care teams provide frontline care, uh, but we also have the catering staff and the fundraising staff who do a huge amount of work. Um, reception staff and administration and um, secretaries who are involved in meeting the patients but maybe not be involved in the actual hands-on care. Everybody's on board and we all work tremendously as a team to ensure that the patients and their families receive the highest quality of care and have access across all our services. Fundraising is a very integral part of what we do here at the Galway Hospice because Without fundraising, our home care, daycare, bereavement support services, they'd simply cease to exist. We don't receive state funding for those services that I mentioned. Now, we do receive funding from the HSC West for the 12 bedded inpatient unit here in Renmore, but all of the services are funded by the public. And without the public supporting us, we simply couldn't do what we do. Fundraising and donations from the people of Galway are central to Galway Hospice's existence. One such fundraising event is the Galway Memorial Walk, which takes place in September of every year. I'm here today to support the hospice because a, a lot of my friends and family have died of cancer and I'm really proud to be here today and uh, I, I like to support them and as long as I live I try and do it every year. At this event, relatives and friends celebrate the life of a loved one who has passed away after spending some time being cared for by Galway Hospice. We're walking today in memory of Mick Dolan, my dad who passed away seven weeks ago in what he called his home away from home, Galway Hospice. And we're just here to say thank you to everyone in the hospice who looked after him like he was their own and who looked after us as well for the last six months. We're just doing a walk for my late father, who passed away last Christmas. Today is a nice, a special day for us anyway. It brings back memories, you know. And we raised a couple of hundred euros in our care and sponsorship. And so hopefully it'll bring something good to somebody else that's in hospice at the moment. It's a special day for all the family and sponsorship raised from the walk goes directly to fund the home care and daycare services of Galway Hospice. The work that they do at the hospice, it's absolutely wonderful. You know, everything, the whole lot, everybody works together and it's like a home from home. The hospice belongs to the people of Galway. It's their hospice. And I suppose that has come about because of their experience or their loved one's experience of the care that we have provided over the years. Um, and that is what continues uh, to help us and encourage us in what we do. Ever since Galway Hospice started out in 1988, the weekly draw has been the cornerstone of its fundraising drive. The services the hospice has developed and delivered over the years have relied hugely on the income from the weekly draw. Now, as the hospice sets out a plan to meet the ever-increasing demand for hospice care into the future, they are looking to the weekly draw once again to underpin this important next stage in the hospice's development. Someday, someone you know may need hospice services. Others need them today. You can help to ensure that these services continue to be available by supporting Galway Hospice as they build for the future. Hello, I'm Keith Finnegan and I'm proud to support the Galway Hospice. Hello, my name is Anthony Cunningham. I'm proud to support Galway Hospice. Hello, I'm Leo Moore and I'm proud to support Galway Hospice. Hi, I'm Eric Elwood. I'm proud to support Galway Hospice. I'm Alan Mulholland and I'm proud to support Galway Hospice. Hi, it's Mr. Joe Connolly. I'm some sauce that talk with the hospice in Hello, I'm Sharon Shannon and I'm proud to support the Galway Hospice. Hello, I'm Christy O'Connor and I'm proud to support Galway Hospice. Galway Hospice needs your support now more than ever. So please sign up to the weekly draw. It's just 127 per week. Ask a family member to sign up. Ask a neighbour to sign up. Ask a work colleague to sign up. Have you signed up yet? Go on, support the team.